So in this video, as you may have gathered by the thumbnail, we see if I have ruined my 2021 Bronco. Now Traxxas's 2021 Bronco has been out for a year now and I actually put money down to get one of the first ones that was out when that was May last year. Uh, but dates were promised to be end of May and then beginning of June and then end of June and then July and then I got bored and so I invested the money in my XCX10 Gladiator instead. But then at the beginning of this year of 2022, Traxxas tried to tempt me again by a range of whole different colours. There was the blue one and white one and black one. So I thought, yes, I'll have another go and I'll go for the black one. However... For some reason, the pricing of the new coloured ones is $100 more than the old coloured ones. Now, I'm not sure what they're painting them with. It must be gold leaf or unicorn tears. But it's not worth another $100. So I was like, no, nah, I'm not getting another one. And then they were reduced recently. Not the, the new coloured ones, the older ones. So the red and the yellow one became available at a decent rate. So I bought the yellow one. Now, if you have a yellow one and you're happy with it, that's great. I really tried to like the yellow one, but I couldn't. So <laughs> I bought a black body shell. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, that has now worked out more expensive than if you just bought the black Bronco. But... In the UK, for some reason, the Black Bronco is still not available, but I have one. And in true man maths form, I now technically have two 2021 Broncos because I still have the yellow body shell. See? Genius. So as well as the colour, I've changed something else that you might think has ruined this Bronco. Ever since I saw the first photographs and videos of the Bronco, there's one thing from a scale point of view, as far as I'm concerned, that looked a bit off. And that was the tire size, okay? Now, I appreciate that to perform as a crawler or a trail truck, the bigger the tire size you can get under the wheel arches, the better. You've got better ground clearance, you've got better grip. But to me, it's always looked like they were way too big. Here's a picture of an actual 2021 Bronco. It's even in yellow. Now I admit those those wheels must be the cheapest you can buy because I've seen bigger wheels on a shopping cart. However, they still look a lot better than the massive ones that are on the TRX4. So I've changed mine. So I've changed the colour obviously, I may have mentioned that, but that's not ruined this car in my opinion. Although having it in black means you can't see so well the lovely scale details like the the arches here and the door handles, they're not picked out as easy as it would be if it was a different colour. However, I can live with that. No, the thing that may have ruined this 2021 Bronco is the tyre size. So I've put on these Proline Hyrax Class 1s, which are smaller, and they're just on some steel beadlocks. They're like steely replicas. I actually think they're from G-Made. They're in my parts box, and I don't have the label. But I'm sure somebody will tell me. Let me know in the comments if you know exactly where I got these wheels from. So to give it a comparison, let me put in one of the wheels that's on the car when you buy it from new. So there is quite a size difference. But is there a performance difference? Everybody knows these perform very well. Traxxas tyres out the box are pretty good. The only other thing I've changed on the car, really, is... Can you see it? Oh, we've got a brass diff cover on the back and the same on the front you can't have too much brass the other thing you may have noticed that I've changed on the car is I've removed the fake winch that beautiful fake winch with the sticker that's supposed to be rope I took that off as well I kind of like the cleaner look I'm sure if you don't you'll let me know in the comments so the whole point of this video is have, have I ruined it and have I, by changing the, that tyre size, ruined the performance of this otherwise great performing 2021 Bronco. I mean, everything else is still there. We've still got the locking differentials. We've still got the two-speed. Uh, we've still got the slightly longer uh, wheelbase. It's the same wheelbase that's on the Defender, not the one that's on the 1975 um, Bronco, which I already have. So I'm going to take it out now, and we're going to see if that is the case. Now, where to run it? 
is the next thing because to test it truly there's no point just running it on a trail of course it's going to work on a trail it's not like i've replaced the wheels with bricks i wanted to take it somewhere or find somewhere where grip would be tested pretty extremely now mud is good but as you know if you've driven in mud it doesn't matter what kind of tires you've got or wheel size you are going to get stuck at some point driving it in the forest again that doesn't really test it i think the best place to take it to see if i've ruined its capabilities it's somewhere where we've got slippery rocks and a bit of water and some moss and all that kind of thing so i've got just a place in mind <laughs> So there it was in action uh, along one of the rivers here in the northeast of Scotland and you all dying to know if there was a compromise with these smaller Hyrax tyres and honestly and I'm, I'm nothing to do with Proline however if Proline is listening and you would like to send me a load of free t-shirts and tyres and things that's great yeah totally I'm, on, I'm up for that 100% I am not affiliated with them in any way but Apart from the odd moment where it got stuck, probably because my choice of lines, nothing to do with grip, it just went over everything. And I know that having the portal axles makes a big difference, but seriously, changing the tyre size hasn't changed its performance at all. I was really surprised. It's not until you can have a look at the footage from the cameras that are lower down, you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Um, but really, please. So if you want to do that yourself, if you thought that you would like the smaller option but thought no I don't want to do it because it might compromise performance well it doesn't so in rounding up have I ruined the 2021 Bronco not at all in fact the, there's no difference at all um, between the stock performance and these new smaller Hyrax tires if you thought about doing it go for it I'll put a link in the description where you can buy the tires from and where you can get the car from as always, thanks for checking out the videos. Have a look at some of the other ones. If you want to chat about anything else, you'll always get me on Instagram. Just have a look for Chasing Plastic Cars. Thanks again for checking out the video.